The emphasis was more so on us trying to control the area uh, or the events that we knew that we could score big points in and go out and try to execute. Um, we purposely stacked specific events, 200, 400, 500, 60, uh, to try to maximize the amount of points that we could possibly get. Ryan uh, has been steady throughout uh, the three years that he's been here at LIU, but this is the most confident that he's been in the three years. Um, it actually helps him having uh, Brendan Rodney here with him. They're very good friends. Um, they wanted to come here together. It just so happened that Brendan couldn't come last year. So had Brendan come here last year, then Brian probably would have been a little bit more focused last year and then had even better results last year along with this year. But Brian was focused as well and glad to see that he finally stepped up uh, and did what I knew that he was always capable of doing. Jamisha was in a zone and I actually tried to give all of my athletes um, 
positivity prior to going into the championships. And Jamisha came in uh, out of high school very underrated. She was nowhere near uh, as good as she is right now. Um, and her high school was you know, full of talented athletes. And we kind of looked up and got her um, because you know, she's come in and you know, performed beyond the expectations that we actually had for her. I didn't expect her to catch fire like this probably until either next year or her junior year, but she came in, bought into the program, and she's had a phenomenal uh, indoor season. So I'm excited to see what happens for her doing outdoor season and, well, the rest of indoor season as well. track and field, it's basically you against yourself. Even though you have competitors there, you're always your biggest competitor. A lot of times you fall short, it's usually from the messages that you send yourself. So the more positive you can be uh, through good results and or bad results, the better your performance usually is. And a lot of times we fall short as athletes is because of the negativity that we tell ourselves prior to competing or what's going through our head during the competition and you know we had events where we felt we should have did better in, and when they didn't go the way that they should have went the emotions were very hard to control because we knew that going into the championships that body wise we were limited we knew that we had to be on and when we weren't on we just kind of beat ourselves up a little more than we needed to and it kind of drained us a little uh, more than we really wanted it to do but um it's a it's a sport where the emotions are always a roller coaster one minute they're extremely up, you know, some minutes, some, that, you know, extremely down. One team, all three. One team, one team. One team, one team.